index number. Let's quickly take a look at the outline for this lecture. We will first look at the definition for an index number, what it stands for. We will talk about the types of index numbers that we have. Index number is a technique that is used in measuring or evaluating the changes in a product in certain items. Secondly, the items that are measured for the product can be price, it can be quantity, it can be consumption, it can be human behavior, it can be spoilage, etc. Whatever a business or an individual wants to measure will depend on the need at that particular point in time. So a business that deals in, let's say, computers would want to know the changes of its selling price or its cost price over a period of time, let's say from 2020 to 2022. So in order for the comparison to be meaningful, one particular year is chosen as a reference for which the other years in the comparative process is measured against. So if a business wants to compare or measure the change in prices of let's say a furniture between 2020 and 2021, 2020 normally the earlier year is chosen as a reference point for which the 2021 activity will be compared against then the changes will be drawn. The reference year is normally what we call the base. The business will determine which year will have to be chosen, but predominantly it is the earlier year that serves as the base. The base year is normally denoted as 100. So if you are comparing the price of furniture between 2020 and 2021, and the 2020 is the base year, it will have a denotion of 100. In case that of 2021 is higher, the index number must be higher than 100. If it is lower, it will fall below 100. We'll move on to discuss the types of index numbers that we do have. The first is the simple index. So here, the measurement of the items, be it price or quantity, is done for a single product over a period of time. Again, it will be compared to its base. Price index will measure the change in the monetary value of the item being measured whereas the quantity index would do the same for volume. There might be other criteria for measurement. That will also bear the name. If it's consumption, it will be the consumption index. Now, let's look at the formula for simple index. Here, we'll have P1 being divided by P0 multiplied by 100. That is for the simple price index. For the simple quantity index, it will be Q1 divided by Q0 multiplying by 100. So, P0 is the price for the base period. P1 is the price for the selected period. So if you are measuring between 2020 and 2022, with 2020 being the base period, 2022 will now be P1, that is the selected period. Then Q0 will be the quantity for the base period. Then Q1 will be the quantity for the selected period. Let's test our understanding. So the price of gift bags for four years are as follows. Price for 2019 is $550, quantity of 200. The price for 2020 is $610, quantity of 230. Price of 2021 is $580, with a quantity of 205. The price of 2022 is $630, whereas its quantity is 245. So we are to calculate the price and quantity indices. So indices is the plural for index for 2020. 2021 and 2022 using 2019 as the base moving on to the solution we'll start with the price index the formula again is p1 divided by p0 multiplied by 100 so the first one is 2020 which will be the selected period so we'll pick the price for it as 610 divided by the price of the base period which is 2019 550 multiplying by 100 will give 110.91 because it is more than 100 it means that there was an increase of 10.91 percent we got that by dividing the extra over the 100 that is 10.91 by 100 choosing 2021 as the selected period its price was 580 divided by that of 2019 550 multiplied by 100 we will get a price index of 105.45 then 2022 being the selected period, its price will be 630 divided by the price of 2019 as its base multiplied by 100 
giving us 114.55. So if you critically look at it, from 2019 to 2020, the change was higher than from 2019 to 2021. Whereas from 2019 to 2022, the change was massive than that of 2020 and 2021. Now, this cannot be just the final determination. We'll have to go further into it and look at what accounted for these changes and what can be done about it. When we come to the quantity index, the formula is Q1 divided by Q0 multiplied by 100. So, for 2020 being the selected year, we'll pick its quantity. 230 divided by the quantity of the base year which is 2019 200 multiplied by 100 giving us 115 meaning that there has been an increase in the quantity of gift bags being sold 2021 as a selected period its quantity is 205 divided by 200 multiplied by 100 providing a quantity index of 102.5 also an increase but relatively lower than that same from 2019 to 2020 for 2022 we'll take the quantity of the selected period being 245 divided by the quantity of the base period 200 multiplied by 100 that will give a quantity index of 122.5 so you will see that the quantity jump from 2019 to 2020 is higher than that seen in 2019 to 2021 however that seen from 2019 to 2022 is higher or relatively massive than the rest. Okay. Again, further checks have to be done to ascertain what necessarily caused this movement.